Hello Capricorn viewers. Going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they may be taking towards you, just whatever the cards want to say. Um, I got a lot of weird mixed energy the last reading I did for you guys. I was getting that you might have two love offers just coming in out of nowhere, like shocking truth reveal, just 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 love coming in from different angles, just a lot of weird mixed energy. So let's see what's going on. We got reconciliation. Divine intervention, synchronicity. Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Okay, so pretty good energy, pretty steady. Kind of king or queen of pentacles energy here. Confusion and uncertainty. Domination, control, apology, and regret. Okay. Hmm. Third party distraction, karmic partner. So they've got a karmic or you have a karmic. Because I did, I did get that you have multiple options. Cold, guarded, distrusting. Hidden truth. Hmm. There is some interesting energy here. Let me stream that out for you guys. Sorry. For this energy group, I was for a while just channeling one person, like a secret admirer type that was watching you, uh, trying to get your attention, wanting to get to know you better, and they put themselves out there for you, but then they feel rejected, like they don't, they don't know how you feel. But then another person came into the mix a couple of weeks ago when I was reading. I started getting two energies, so this could be an ex that wants to come back. Is the top cards and bottom cards to be separated? Are this two? Is this two different people? So yeah, there's still the, it's still the same story going on. It looks like you have this person that's trying to. Uh, or you have this energy that's trying to get you to reconcile with someone or trying to get you to to be with your true love, trying to, to bring you guys together, you know, reconciliation here. It's like the divine or you're like your little spirit guides or animal spirit guides trying to bring you together with this person. And this person seems like they're choosing their words wisely. They're planning their approach. Then it's like they get confused and uncertain and they kind of pull back and they don't they don't know how you feel. Um, or this could also be the same person. I'm getting that it's two. I think it's two people, but this could be the same person that is, um, you know, feeling like they're dominant or controlling the, or they were, and they might be dominant and controlling to kind of hide their fears and their insecurities. Like they don't want you to know how much they really love you. Um, so it's like they plan their approach and they think about what they want to say. And then they kind of get in this confused kind of scared energy. And so then they try to dominate and control things. And they end up being toxic and they end up needing to apologize to you. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is actually two different people. Whether you have someone that's positive, but they're just like a little bit too afraid. Like they're a sweet person. They're very loving. But they're ta they're, they keep going back and forth and not knowing how to approach you. It's like they try to make a move, but they're just they're too subtle about it. They need to come forward more. And then you have the second person that maybe was dominant or controlling either presently or in the past. And they're wanting to apologize. They're feeling regret for it. They might have chosen a third person over you, like a third party. Or maybe they're realizing that you're choosing a third party. Like your energy is kind of shifting because you might have this psychic connection with someone else. Even if you haven't met them yet, it might just be like, like you feel their energy or like they're kind of watching you on social media but maybe haven't said as much as they should say yet. Um, and like your energy is cold, guarded, distrusting. Like there's some kind of hidden truth that's, just come out or about to come out regarding this energy is what I'm feeling here. Maybe the hidden truth is that you're talking to someone new um, or that this person's talking to someone new, but they're wanting to apologize and come forward to you. 
shyness. Yeah, the secret admirer, it's so frustrating because it's like you have this strong psychic connection with each other, but it's like a power struggle, like a chaser, chasee, like back and forth. Like you guys are just like either, you know, maybe when you're single, they're taken and vice versa. Or it's like they're, they're, it's like a chase or chase C game, but not in the sense of them like wanting what they can't have. It's more just like, I mean, I think their pride is starting to act up. So I think maybe this person feels like they've pursued you, but they feel like you're not receptive. Like you're in your head about stuff. You're busy. And so their pride is starting to act up. And so I think they're starting to almost make it a power struggle where they're not showing their feelings quite as much as they were before or not as much as they were trying to. It feels like this person is just too introverted, though, like too shy. It just feels like just feels like they need to make a move. You know what I mean? It feels like it feels like they talk to you and, and like, are you guys communicate or they watch you on social media? Like they like all your posts or something of that sort. And they feel like they're really obvious, but they're not that obvious to you. Like you might not even realize this person likes you. Or you, like, might kind of have a hint of it, but, like, I don't feel like this person has done enough. Like, but they think that they have. They feel like it should be obvious. Um, and there is this psychic connection there, too. It's like their shyness and their fear of rejection is such an issue. What are they most likely to do towards you? Like, what what is, what is has to happen to get this energy to shift, finally? Sadness, adventure, honeymoon, vacation... Submissive, weak-willed. God, this energy is so weird. I wish they would get out of this energy because it's like back and forth. It's like, damn, get out of this energy already. Make, not you, but them. Like, they need to make a move already. They need to make themselves obvious. Like, this, this, this is like someone that you see at the grocery store, like at a cafe or something. It's almost like maybe they feel like they flirt with you, but they're not making it obvious enough. You know, and you might think this person is cute, but you just, you don't even notice it like you're like in your head or you're busy because they're they're so subtle about it and it's like they really need to make a move the problem is that there's like this miscommunication where they I don't know if it's like different love languages or what it is but it almost seems like they feel like they're making a move but to you you're not even feeling like they're doing all that much like you're you might not even notice it like, it might be, like, the girl that, like, twirls her hair or something when you're getting your coffee at the cafe, and she thinks she's super obvious and flirty, and you're, like, on your phone or in your head and just trying to get your coffee and go, so you don't really notice how cute she is because it's just not where your head is at. It's that kind of energy, you know? Or it's, like, someone's, like, smiling at you and being flirty, but you're just, like, they're not, like, they need to be more blunt. Like, it's not, you don't, you don't speak that language. Like, you don't pick up those little hints. And their, their language or their love language is like the hints and the subtleties. Like they're, they're very observant. They notice those subtleties and I don't think you do quite as much or vice versa. But it's like someone's being too subtle and someone's like not recognizing the connection here because they're, you know what I mean? Like this person needs to be more blunt is what I'm feeling and then it's like they do something and it's like you don't reciprocate or you don't open. But I don't, I don't know if it's even that you're not reciprocating. I think it's more just your head is somewhere else. And I don't think you're realizing how much they're trying to flirt. Because this could be like when you're like at work, like a coworker, or like you're out in public, like this person like works at a cafe or grocery store or something of that sort, it's, you know, or maybe like a manager employee relationship, something like that, where it's like you're probably just not... I mean, maybe if you guys work together, it's like they're trying not to be too obvious because it's awkward. You know what I mean? They don't want to make things awkward. But it's like one of those situations where it's like they're just, they're, they're like flirting, but it's like you don't recognize that they're flirting, but it's not necessarily, I mean, it's, it's partly because you're in your head and you're focused on other things and maybe the environment that you guys are in when you see each other, maybe you just, it doesn't compute because your head is somewhere else when you're in that environment. Like if you guys like work together, like, if you're, like, on a computer or something, it's, like, you're kind of focused on that. Like, you're not focused on, like, the secretaries around you or whoever. You know what I mean? Just for example, it's, like, or you're getting your coffee, like I said, or you're at the grocery store. It's, like, your head is just, you're focused on, like, the task at hand. You know what I mean? Like, you're not thinking about, like, love or flirting in that moment. 
but maybe it just feels like the it feels like for most of you not all of you but for a lot of you when this person sees you it feels like the like the environment is just all wrong like it's not like an environment for like love and romance so that so your head's not there so it's like they flirt and then they feel like you're not reciprocating but it's not that you're not reciprocating it's just that it's it's not the right place for it it's not your head just isn't there you're not you're you're not recognizing it because you don't expect that kind of love and romantic energy in that kind of environment, if that makes sense. And so then this person feels rejected and they kind of pull away. And that's where that power struggle energy comes in, where it's like they're getting upset and you don't even realize, like you don't even know this is going on, I don't think, for most of you. Um, or they could be stalking you on social media as well. If this is your story and you want me to go more into, I'm going to look more into this too on this video, but if you want me to go more in depth into um, the ex, the secret admirer, whatever you want to know, just send me an email. My email is right below this video in the description box. The email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Just copy and um, you can just, you know, copy and paste that email. And uh, any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar really adds up quickly. My donation links are below. So I thank you guys for that. I really appreciate it. And uh, if it resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. Vulnerability, receptivity. Yeah, so it's like this person's like sad because it's like they want the adventure, the honeymoon vacation with you. And they're like submissive to their fears. It's like they're... See, this person is, it's like new love, fated encounter, destiny. Like, they're like, look at how they're looking at each other. They're just like smitten with each other, you know? Or someone's smitten with you, I should say. Um, but what's going to get this person? Because this is such a repetitive energy. We've been in this energy for like a month, two months, where it's like, they're in this like same energy almost, all, not like all the time. I mean, it like it varies a little bit, but it seems like a roller coat, like a merry-go-round that you, that this person's like stuck on. And I want to give you guys like new energy, like a new reading. I wish something would shift here so I could give you guys like a, a better update. You know what I mean? Because the readings are kind of similar now because it's like this person's not. Well, they're similar except we have this new ex, this ex, this maybe toxic ex that's that's just kind of pulled up into the picture out of nowhere. Um, we started thinking about you out of nowhere recently and now they're wanting to come back around. So I'm going to look into them too. But yeah, for this person, it's like, I mean, it, the energy varies a little bit. Like sometimes I get that they're like really, you know, just gung ho. Like they're like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a move, like trying to push past their fears and nervousness. And again, maybe you guys work together or something for some of you. So they maybe that's why they're not putting themselves out there, because that might be one of those situations where you guys have to see each other and it'd be awkward if you said no. So that could be part of it um, for some of you that is. But but yeah, it's frustrating because like sometimes I'll get like they're they're gonna make a move like they're wanting they're wanting to to do something but then it's like it feels like they do make a move but it feels like it's just so subtle that you don't see it and then it's like I'll channel them and they'll be in this energy where they're kind of like pouty and upset and like not sure if you like them not sure what to do next like just confused about how they feel confused about how you feel. But it's like, it's stupid though on their part because it's like, they don't do enough. It's like, oh wow, like you twirled the, your hair. Or, oh wow, you said like, I like your haircut or I like your shirt. Like that's not enough, you know what I mean? I mean, on their end, it's like they do something like that and then you don't jump on them and they're like, oh, I guess they don't like me or I don't know what to do now. And it's like, are you serious? Like this person's just so shy and scared and it's, it's irritating because they go back and forth where they like, they need to make a bolder move. You might need to give this, to get out of this energy so I can give you guys a new story here, you might need to make, you might need to give them an opening. Like if this is someone you work with that you might like, you need to give them like some kind of opening because I think they're too shy and introverted. Yeah, there's so much miscommunication here. Maybe different love languages. X, the past. Choose a path. So choose, yeah, you're going to be choosing between the X and this person. And the ex might still be afraid of commitment. Or this person is shy and scared, but they seem more, more loyal and stable than the ex. But maybe not as exciting as the ex. Hmm. Fast moving energy. Yeah, someone mentally unstable is moving quickly towards you. <laughs> I hate to say that. I am sorry I'm laughing. I shouldn't laugh at that. I just put the cards together. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> It was like fast moving energy chaos and turn of events and it's like mental instability. I'm like, oh cool. You guys have someone mentally unstable coming in quick. 
Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> it's not funny. Okay, I'm sorry. It was just weird how those card cards came out together like that. Uh, publicity, social media. Yeah, I think you have a couple people watching you on social media. Or publicity, like if you're in the public eye, like people are... Like, if you're on TV or, you know, YouTube or whatever, I think people are watching you right now. Um, yeah, I think this person, for this energy to shift, I think that something needs to give. There needs to be a breakthrough, and I think it's going to be on you, unfortunately. This person is just too shy and introverted. They seem sweet. It sucks because it's like you have two different people, and, like... One of them seems like a really good person, but it's like they're almost too shy and sweet and insecure for you. You know what I mean? I feel like you need someone that's more dominant, more confident, more assertive, like more passionate, more like take charge. Um, and you have that here with this ex, but the ex feels toxic. So it's like you have these two people to choose from. And honestly, you might not want either of them. You might want to say screw both these people and work on manifesting someone new. Because, I mean, I was all for the secret admirer at first, but, like, two months down the road, we're still in this energy where this person is still being a baby and still not making a move. I'm just like, uh, really? Like, this person needs to make a move already. Like, enough is enough. They need to take that risk. But, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense if it's, like, a coworker because they don't want to, like, lose their job, you know? They don't know if you're going to, like accuse them of like sexual harassment or something if they ask you out you know, you know what I mean like they might they don't know what's gonna happen like they don't want you to like report them and say that they made you feel uncomfortable or something so I guess that kind of I guess in some scenarios it makes sense um I just wish this person would do more so yeah if this is someone if you know who this is and it might be someone that you might be interested in I would just give them an opening it doesn't have to be super forward like if you're not sure if it's that person or not you don't have because it could be it, it could be anyone you know like if you're not sure if it's them like if you don't know if it's that that's the person I'm describing then just kind of be like give them an opening but not too much you know what I mean like just notice like because again this is probably an environment where your head is not you're not observant in this environment because you're focusing on something else. Like you're at work and you're focusing on the work, at, the work, the task at hand. You're at the coffee shop. You're focusing on getting your coffee. You're at the grocery store. You're focusing on getting your groceries. You're getting a haircut. You're focusing on just getting your haircut and getting out of there. Like that kind of energy. You know what I mean? So when you're in this environment, like if you know who this might be, like try to be more focused and more open to love in that environment like be more observant of the people around you like maybe someone that you talk to regularly that you wouldn't you normally think about it like be mindful of their body language because you guys might have different love languages so be more mindful of that um because I feel like you have to I think you have to first of all I think you need to get in that mindset of like open it like re recognizing this because I don't think I don't you might not even know who this person is like you might just not be aware of it because you're not in that mentality so you need to to open your heart to love in in all environments and in, in kind of you know even work and um, be observant of who might be trying to flirt with you and when you do that also try to give them an opening like I said if you're not sure about it you can be kind of subtle about it just match their energy like you know it can be something subtle like oh like you got a pretty smile or like oh like I noticed you got your hair cut like that shirt looks really good on you like um you know start up a conversation hey have you heard anything about that new movie that just came out just whatever like just just start that conversation and you might find this person like blushing smiling twirling their hair like kind of their body language, if you really start focusing on this person's body language, I think these signs are going to come up that you didn't see before. Um, as for this ex, it's like I think they might be jealous because they might be feeling this person's energy. They might be aware that there's someone new that's either coming or coming into your life. Um, they might be entertaining a karmic and pretending like they're not. It seems like they're dominant and controlling. They're wanting to apologize. What else about the ex? See, it's frustrating because it's like the ex feels more assertive and like more passionate and more like on that level with you. But it seems like they might be kind of toxic like for some of them too. Happiness, warmth, light, betrayal. There's some kind of betrayal or jealousy or conflict. And now they're spying. Yeah, you might be talking. This could be a new person you're already talking to. 
and your ex might be spying and getting jealous of this new person. And this could be astrally telepathically too. Like they're feeling that someone else is coming into your life and you're feeling that someone else is coming into your life and they're trying to figure it out consciously or subconsciously, astrally, whatever it might be. And so now they're suddenly like wanting to come forward with this courage, oh my gosh, courage, assertiveness, motivation for movement, like not wanting to lose you, like being kind of almost like claiming you, like kind of being defensive of you, like it's, it's mine, <laughs> like that kind of energy, like... Yeah, they're feeling nostalgic for you. This could be a past life connection. It could be something that needs to be tied up here too. Finances, career. Yeah, maybe you need to decide, like, do you want to entertain this again or do you want to cut these cords? Because if you don't want to entertain this, then you should cut the cords so that this doesn't, this karmic cycle, you know, soulmate past life, soul contract, maybe soul contracts that you have with this person. You know, you might want to cut the cords so that you're not picking up on their energy and they're not picking up on yours. Um, you know, maybe look at these two connections, decide is, are either of these right for you? And for some, the expert, the ex is right for you. For a lot of you, I think the ex is toxic, but for some of you, the ex might not be toxic, but I think that you need to be introspective right now. You need to, again, like we were talking about figuring out who this person is being open, you know, re reading their body language. Um, matching their energy, being more mindful of this this secret admirer or this new person that's either come in or coming in. And um, with the ex, like, is this toxic? Is this something you want to cut out? Is this something you want to continue? Because you can say screw both these people and you can manifest someone new. It's up to you. But I think that this choice should be made. Like, you should think about this and make that decision, like affirm it to the universe. Like I want this person or I want this person or you know what, I want neither of these people. I wanna go down a new path, please manifest someone new. Cause I think that you're in this energy where you're open to love. So you can, you can tell the universe like this isn't for me. You know what I mean? I think you need to set your intentions to the universe like about what you want and, and open, open the door, like, you know, road opening. Let this, let, letting this energy come in, making that decision, you know? putting the affirmations in with the universe, love affirmations. So anyway, I hope this helps. Um, like I said, my email is right below in the description box, right below this video. So you can just copy and paste the email if you want a private reading. I can go more in depth into this, into your specific story and get more details for you on your, your you know, specifically. Um, and please subscribe if it resonates. And like I said, any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it adds up quickly. My donation links are below. So I thank you guys for watching. Bye.